Hello, hello, my scrumptious ravens. I hope you all have been well. It's been a while since I've done a review video, the last one being the treadmill video that I did. Um, so today we are reviewing the Paderno 12 inch, 30 centimeters classic frying pan. It's a maroon frying pan. It's just in the sink right now, it's being washed. Um, and I am going to be testing it out with by making an omelet. I feel like eggs are the best way to test the durability and functionality of frying pans because no matter how much oil you use, no matter how low heat you put, I have grown up in a household in which the eggs always stuck to our frying pans. I don't know if our frying pans were old or what the situation was. So I'm gonna try this frying pan and see how it works with the eggs. So let's get into it. Okay, we have the stove on medium heat. I put some olive oil, da -da -da, like that, spread it around. And now is the true test of if the egg sticks and how good this frying pan actually is. As you can tell, it's a pretty hefty omelet. We got some cheddar cheese in there, spinach, mushroom, red pepper, and green olives. Okay, so all of that is in here. I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. Okay. Cool. And it's still on medium heat, so we're just gonna let this cook. Okay, it's been almost three minutes and I can slightly see it cooking from the side. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit and see how that goes. So this is maybe like, at, before it was at the 50, you know, at the half mark, it's maybe like at the 60, 60% mark. If the dial was 100. If high was 100. All right, about six minutes in, and I can see that it's starting to cook on the side some more. I just want to take a little peek on the bottom. Oh, never mind. The top is still uncooked. Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to get there. I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's starting to definitely cook a lot more. Let me check the bottom. Oh yeah, that's definitely cooking. I'm not gonna make it! Okay, I have to use the plate technique. There's some egg that's splattered over to the side right here, but it's just easily coming right off. Okay, I think it's pretty much done. And it just slid right off. So that's what the omelet turned out like. It looks beautiful. It's fully cooked, it's on both sides, evenly cooked. The other side also looks really yummy. And the frying pan is spick and span. So once the frying pan cools down, what you're gonna wanna do is get your spongy stew and make sure that you're only scrubbing this 
frying pan lightly with the soft side. I think this is a mistake that we quite, we made quite often in my household when I used to live with my parents. We would scrub it with the hard side, and I feel like that really ruins the nonstick surface. So just rinsing it a little bit, and then doing a little scrubble doo doo doo. And then on the steel portion, I'm just going to use this lightly. Okay. And we're rinsing this out. So a couple things I wanted to mention about this frying pan is one thing I love is the stay cool handle. I love that this uh, does not generate any kind of heat so you can really hold on to it whenever you need to while you're cooking. Um, I love that it is non-stick. It definitely passed the test. It's freaking good as new after just a little scrub a doo doo, -doo with the soft side of sponge. It is on sale right now at Canadian Tire for $34.99. But the sale ends July 21st, so I'm sorry. It does end tomorrow. However, I do want to say, don't pay full price for this frying pan. I cannot stress that enough. This frying pan, the Paderno frying pans, guys, go on sale at least once every few months. Every few months, so just keep checking. If you can add an alert or a watch list type of thing for um, this item. Um, the original price is $119.99. Don't pay full price. You can get this for 35 bucks plus taxes. So that is the positives. The negatives is, I don't know if some people might find this a negative because it did take a while for me to cook the omelet. It was like around 10 minutes or so. And if you're in a rush, this might not be the best frying pan for you. I like to be safe with my frying pans. So I like to keep this on low heat slash medium to high, sorry, medium heat slash medium to high heat. And that's why it took me longer to cook my eggs. But if you want to experiment and try high all the way, do your thing. I wouldn't recommend that. I wouldn't risk that for the frying pan because I've just had so many frying pans warp and lose their nonstick um, ness. But the good thing about this frying pan is all, it also comes with lifetime warranty. So you can always contact Paderno and say, hey, the nonstick surface is not working for me anymore and they'll either send you a replacement or you can just go into Canadian Tire, if that's where you bought it from, and swap it out. So that's another actually good thing about it. The other thing I didn't like about this is that it is heavy. So my phone did die, but I was in the middle of saying that the frying pan is a little heavy. If you're like me and you don't have very good upper body strength, it's going to be tough for you to pick up the frying pan while there's food inside. And you know, if you need to pick up the frying pan and transfer food out of the frying pan, it's tough, baby. You need two hands for that. But if, you know, you got a little bit of upper body strength going on, is you should be fine. Um, I'm, I'm really, like, trying to nitpick at the cons so that I can give my full, transparent, honest review of the product. I don't want to just be like, it's amazing and there's nothing wrong with it. It is. But those are the two things I would say. Like, it does take a while for you to cook food. I would say the other frying pan I have cooks eggs a little faster a couple minutes not too much um, but it could also just be that I'm getting used to what temperature is good for this frying pan I might next time do the full egg at medium high heat today I did medium and then medium high so we'll see uh, I'll probably do another video a few months into using it just to do like an update on excuse me, how the frying pan is faring. And last note about the lifetime warranty for Paderno, I do want to say that I have personally experienced a Paderno frying pan. It was a stainless steel one that I also got from Canadian Tire and it was terrible. It was such a bad frying pan, guys. I used barely any oil, sorry, I used a solid amount of oil. I left the frying pan on low heat and it was still like the eggs were sticking so badly. I'll put a picture of the eggs if I have um, 
the egg damage if I have a, a picture of it still. And I contacted Paderno and they said, sure, no problem, we'll get you a replacement. That maroon frying pan that I'm using right now is actually the replacement for the stainless steel one. So this one, a lot better than that stainless steel one. And I can attest to their lifetime warranty policy. You just have to shoot them an email with pictures, describe the problem. They'll get you in touch with a rep and a rep will explain to you um, what your replacement is if it's not the same item if it's a different one and you just got to take your receipt to the uh, Canadian Tire store and they will do an exchange for you and sometimes you're able you're supposed to pay a difference in this case I had to pay the difference uh, of five dollars so not too bad not too crazy and I bought that frying pan in March and it is now July so just to give you an idea of how the warranty works, but that's it. As always, I am wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and goodness and happiness and good health. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my new news. And God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. Take care. Stay scrumptious. If you do end up getting this frying pan, let me know. I love it so far, but again, I will be doing a follow-up um, review in the future. Take care, everyone, and Raven out. Bye.